I'm Jeff Strong, and I play bassoon in the Allen Philharmonic. I also have been a private bassoon lesson teacher for middle and high school students for over 20 years in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Today I wanted to make a video that discusses intonation. Now the definition of intonation is how well I play in tune, both with myself, meaning do certain notes sound a little bit off compared to other notes I play, or general intonation, where when I play I sound the same as someone else. Now sounding the same as someone else, what I mean is if I play a note, like for example if I play a C, then I want my C to sound the same as the person next to me playing their C. If I, my C is higher than the C that other people are playing, then I can refer to that as being sharp. If my C is lower than everyone else's C, then I can be referred to as flat. So let's talk about the factors that will affect general intonation, how well I play in tune with other people in my group. Three main factors, now let's call it four. Air, embouchure, or the way you hold your mouth while you play, the reed, and the vocal. The first two, air and embouchure, are what are most within your control as a player. As has been discussed on some other videos that have been made, your air and how you use it has a lot of effect on both the sound quality and the pitch, or how sharp or flat, or if you're in tune, that you can be. And that relates real closely to the embouchure. For example, if I'm not using enough air, but I'm playing with a normal, relaxed, but solid embouchure, then I'm going to sound flat on just about every note on the instrument, and certain high notes I won't be able to play at all. You'll get effects like that when you get up into the high register. Okay? Now, how do I correct that? Just simply keep the embouchure the same and use more air. The other effect if with using too little air is squeezing with the embouchure, which normally will drive the pitch up and you will be sharp on almost every note. And it will be very difficult to play the low notes. Those are the two factors that you should check first if there's an intonation problem. Third, we've got reeds, and there's a variety of things about reeds that can affect the intonation. First of all, if the reed's too heavy, you will have an effect of not being able to play the low notes very well at all, and practically everything else that you play is going to be quite sharp. If that is the case, or if the reed is too closed, the reed either needs to be opened up a little bit, or perhaps it needs to, it's too heavy and it needs to be scraped and have some cane taken off it to make it thinner, which should be done by someone who is experienced with reed making. If the reed is too thin, or perhaps very new or very old, the reed might sound a little buzzy, and a lot of notes will be very flat. Now sometimes what you can do if it's a newer reed is let the reed sit for a while and break it in. If it's an older reed, then perhaps it's time to discard it and replace it. That brings me to vocals. All right, the vocal is this pipe affair that the reed connects to. Vocals are made in different lengths and they're in different numbers. Uh, the most common ones are a number two and a number three, which you're probably playing on one or the other. The lower the number, the shorter the vocal, and the higher the number, the longer the vocal. If you put a longer vocal on, it has the effect of lowering your general pitch. If you have a shorter vocal, it has the tendency to raise your pitch. Just a note on vocals, a higher number of vocal or longer vocal will kind of lend itself to playing low notes just a little bit better, and you might have a little bit of trouble with high notes. If you get a shorter vocal, it favors the high register. Now, as far as intonation goes, as I mentioned, the longer the vocal, the lower the pitch. The shorter the vocal, the higher the pitch. 
if you are playing consistently sharp or flat on all of your notes and you think it might be a vocal issue, I would advise you to have your teacher or band director or other players test out the same instrument. And if everyone seems to have the same tendency on it, then you may be looking at getting a different length vocal. Another word about tuning is most instruments have a system where you have a slide or something that you can either pull out to make the tube longer, which will lower the pitch, or you can push it in and it will raise the pitch. And that's used for tuning. If you're sharp, you pull that out. If you're flat, you push it in. And sometimes students are advised to do that with the vocal, right where it attaches to the instrument. Now, this really doesn't work because you know you have a whisper keypad there, so there's not a lot of distance there that you can pull out or push in. The other thing about bassoon is it affects the way that the instrument is built. If you pull out and push in, it kind of uh, just messes around with the physics and the acoustics of the instrument, and it just doesn't work all that well as a tuning slide. The only course you have is with embouchure, just slight embouchure adjustments to get more in tune, or the factors I mentioned already, the air, the reed, possibly a longer or shorter vocal. One other thing I would like to mention, not in general terms, but there are certain notes that sometimes can be out of tune. Like if you're playing a C scale and you get to your G on the fourth space, that note can sometimes be very sharp compared to your other notes. So one way to combat that is you've got your low E flat key. It's the first key that you can hit with the top hand pinky right here. That should always be down on half whole G's. Listen to the difference. I will play it first without, then I'll add that key. Listen to the difference in the pitch. You'll hear it go down. It also sounds a little bit less nasally and more dark, more like the notes around it. So that's something you ought to always do when you play. That same key, that low E flat key, should be used once you get to notes up around E, which is two lines above the bass clef staff, Anything that's that note or above uses that same key for both tone quality issues and for intonation issues. I hope you've gotten some good hints on how to play in tune out of this video. Thank you for listening. Happy bassooning.